Fair facility out there, Ava, thank you. As we prepare to jump into the long-standing annual celebration of food and restaurants in town, that is Fall for Greenville, there are also some brand new arrivals to welcome to the restaurant scene. Our friend Ariel Turner, a professional foodie with a passion for all things food and bev, has uh, an eye out for all the spots that are now open. Welcome, glad you're here. Thank you, excited to talk about this. A lot of new action. Uh, yes. It started, uh, you know, there was the Poppy's Tacos location on Riverwalk, then they added the food truck, and now the Borales family has opened up its new Poppy's Tacos 21 Augusta Street. Yes. And this is kind of like the grown-up poppies. Okay. They've been working to try, they tried Easily as a location. They tried Simpsonville as a location. The pandemic had other plans for those. And then they just decided, you know what? Downtown loves us. Let's just find a new location downtown where actually we can expand our menu. We can have a full bar and kind of treat the people who have really been supporting them for years. So the Riverwalk location is going to stay, at least for the next couple years and still treat the tourists and people who come yeah. through wanting gelato when they're by the river and tacos there. But then this new location, expanded menu, really great tacos still. And then the bar program is really excellent if you're really into tequila, agave spirits. That's, that's your people. spot. Yes. Yeah, well, I like that. I understand the strategy now because they're yep. close to one another, but they they're, are. they've got so a different it, focus. So it seems like why would they do it so close, but actually the strategy is pretty smart. Yeah. And they're going to expand even already next door to the, to the storefront that's empty. They're going to expand the bar, expand seating so the and then they actually have the patio outside. Which love is awesome. to see it and love the story behind yes. Poppies too. I mean, I mean, this is a this is a man who worked hard from This is the American dream. Yeah. Really started out, you know, just as a pop-up and then has turned it into something wildly successful. Yeah. Love to see that. And then yeah. another one of the newest places in town, the Walkabout. This is that grab and go sandwich shop at the Bellwether by Fleur Field. The concept has to do with kind of reimagining what lunch can be. Right. So, you know, if you think sandwiches, that can seem like, oh, you know, we're used to sandwiches for lunch, but these are actually like real interesting mm -hmm. sandwiches. So you're going to pay for an interesting sandwich. So just keep that in mind. It's not a $7 venture. Uh -huh. You know, it might be a $14 sandwich, but you're basically getting the, the same minds behind Urban Wren and the Bellwether, really interesting composed dishes all between bread or a wrap. Yeah. So, you know, it runs the gamut of Asian fusion. We've got some, the one that I had yesterday was like a spicy chorizo and beans and potatoes. And I had them put it in a wrap. So it was basically like a breakfast burrito and it was so fantastic. And just having seating right there along Main Street, it's a perfect little spot. Order your food, sit yeah. down, hang out and then go back to work if you have to. <laughs> it's, if you have to, it's quick but fabulous. To. But we, we've talked to um, Chef Taylor about his yes. love of sandwiches. This is a man who's very passionate about sandwiches, yep. but also uh, gourmet food, so well, you yeah, can buy that and you're you gonna know, get something. Chefs are really into sandwiches. This is yeah. something that you'll discover because they're like, this is where I can put all of my favorite flavors in one place. Mm, all that goodness. <laughs> yes. the, uh, now we know that there's the 05 on Augusta, the 15 is at Hartness Village, and now the yep. team that opened up a place on Lawrence Road where the zip code ends with 07. 07, cute strategy with the okay. naming, and can't wait to see what other O yeah. restaurants come from it. But this one on Lawrence Road, um, actually just went there last night with friends and ordered a large portion of the menu and came away really blown away with the flavors and the food. The 05 has always been good. The 15 is great. Um, that lamb dish that's on the screen right now, it is enough for two people and the best value on the menu. I'll just tell you, when they dropped okay. that lamb down, it was like a gasp. Like, how is, <laughs> this is way too big for one person. And also it was delicious. Fresh yeah. fish, the desserts were, I mean, I, if I'm going to talk about a dessert, it's going to be really good because I'm, I'm more of like a savory type of person, but mm -hmm. the desserts were really, really excellent. The space is really beautiful. Lots of open air opportunities with garage doors. Great for a date night. Great for keeping it casual too. So it's, and it's very nicely located in an area where there isn't a lot. Yeah, so, and like there's that. parking. Yay, and good parking. tip there. Nobody, <laughs> nobody likes that fear of missing out ordering the, right. the thing that they missed. The lamb. The Get lamb. It. Get All the right. lamb. Um, and now with... 60 restaurants participating yes. in Fall for Greenville. That is a whole lot of food, a whole lot of restaurants. Yes. It's smart to show up with some kind of an eating strategy. What is your right. advice? Okay, so if you're just a generalist and you're there just to enjoy, don't worry about the strategy. Just walk by things, see what smells good, what looks good, and get in line. Okay, lots of lines. I mean, that's the thing. But if you really are interested in tasting some of the best bites, use the app, use the website, go there, see what restaurants are there, look at the menus because all of their menus are already on the website. So you can actually anticipate what you're going to get and then plan your strategy based on the map and the location. So if you go with people, I would say your best strategy is to disperse, everyone uh -huh. go get you know one item that you want and then converge and then you can all try all of those things. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna spend, I don't know, 
<laughs> Two hours standing in lines waiting for those bites that you really want. That's so. and, and that's what you want. You want a taste of a little bit yes. of everything. So that's good strategy. Well, Split up, bring your food back. And that's the point of this is yep. to taste a lot of different things. Yep. So, you know, use your people wisely. All right. Yeah, I know you've you've got a big weekend ahead. This is this is where yes. you do a lot of your research. Yes. It, you know, it's a fun time and it's good to see that there are a lot of new restaurants participating that maybe yeah. we haven't seen before. I, so. And we love Fall for Greenville. So yes. approachable. Um, Ariel, you're always discovering places, writing about them in On the Grid Greenville. And uh, we appreciate your insight. Will you stick around Thanks. for trending? stories I will okay Ariel thank you and anybody watching follow Ariel on social media see where her adventures take her and that information is on screen now